much of the service we've been getting. We got the absolution. We got the gift of the Psalms. We've been given the gift of the canticles and the hymn of praise. We asked for God's attention in the Kyrie. And now we get to give. We have this opportunity of offering that's coupled with this canticle where we pray together the offertory and we talk about the things that we are returning to God. Because really, we don't own anything. There's nothing that really belongs to us. God, who created everything in heaven and on earth, has given us dominion and put us in charge of things. But it's not really mine or yours. It's God's. And so we get to take care of the things that God has given us, and we give some of these things for his work in the church. Some of those things aren't super glamorous. Make sure that pastor keeps a roof over his head and food in his belly. That's a good thing, and the church is called to do that, to turn on the lights and make sure that your church has a web page, to go to conferences like Higher Things, to do other things is something that we are called to give to and provide for to care for the poor and the needy, for the widows and the orphans. It's exactly what Scripture calls us to do, and that's what we do here. I know it looks like a little bit of an interruption in the service where all of a sudden the organ starts to play some music and we pass around some offering baskets, but all of this is an additional part of our worship and our life in Christ that goes beyond just this hour or hour and a half on a Sunday morning into everything that we get to do as the goods that God has given us, even the money that we have, is used for the support of his church. And so we live in his world, not just on Sunday mornings, but all the time. And we do it faithfully and lovingly out of the gifts that he has first given to us.